Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I just wanted to let you know that this is going to be an after commentated video. Um, the actual commentary, well, never existed exactly. Um, yours truly forgot to hit the record button. Uh, I thought I did. Let's just say I thought I did. And we went along and we were, you know, commentating or whatever it is that we claim we do. And, you know, I. Apparently the big red record button I just did not press. But yeah, this video I figured I would take some time out and just explain a little bit about what's going on with the channel. Um, so I know that The Last of Us is coming out on the 14th. I had already pre-ordered it. So I should be getting it on the 14th. It's coming in through Amazon or something. It's supposed to because I'm a Prime member, I should get it on the day. But Looking forward to that, and I will be having a full playthrough of the campaign on that, as well as I will be having some playthrough of multiplayer. Now, I think the way I'm going to set that up is I'm going to start with the campaign, and I may throw in like every three or five videos of campaign, I'll put up like one or two multiplayer videos, and just see what you guys like, depending on what gets liked and what gets commented on, favorited. Whatever that whole deal is, I'll probably put more up of at a time. Um, but I am definitely looking forward to this game. It's been hyped for a long time now. Um, and I just think flat out it has a definite possibility of becoming Game of the Year this year. Now I know it's tough to say that, especially about a new game. Thank you Hewitts for killing me, I'm sorry. That just, that, <laughs> you know, still gets to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's tough to say that about a game that you know, has, is still not out. You can't really say that a game's gonna be great because you really don't know, but this game just has so much hype. Anybody that's been hearing about it that I'm just looking forward to playing it for sure. And, you know, just when it comes out, I, I know it probably won't disappoint. It's definitely been worked on by the Naughty Dog crew for quite a few years. I know that, from what I heard, half the development team worked on Uncharted 3 and then the other half went on The Last of Us and this was back after they made Uncharted 2 so you figure if this is true that that's quite a few years that they've had to work on this game so they definitely have touched it up for a long time that sounded really wrong but I hope you guys can understand what I was trying to say there now um yeah I know this is a little bit out of the ordinary usually we don't have <laughs> such mellow videos like this but that's you know like I said, I messed up on the recording, and I figured this would actually be a good time. Haha, <laughs> Hewitt's karma. I figured that this would be a good time to, you know, just state a little bit what's going on and what the future's bringing. Um, also, I did get a couple messages from people saying that they wanted to see a little bit more. Look at that, real quick, I'm sorry. Three one-ups. I don't know if we've done that yet <laughs> in this series, but definitely well done, boys. Alright, so as I was saying, I got a couple messages about NFL Street 2. A couple people wanted to see a few more of those gameplays. I mean, literally, I could sit home and play that game all day. It's just, it's a classic. It's a classic. Anyone that's played an NFL, or not even an NFL, like a street game, just knows that they're addicting. They really are. If you love any form of sport, they're just a fun game to play. Now, um, in this uh, video, let's talk about the video a little bit. In this video... Uh, we started off with, I believe it was 8-6, and we got all the coins pretty easily. No cutting we had to do for once. <laughs> um, right there, uh, my screen sometimes, I don't know why my screen does that, guys. Uh, when I set my hapage up to my TV, sometimes it just has this tendency to go blank for a little while. I don't know what the reason of that is, and by a little while I mean like it flashes. Like the TV like flashes off and flashes back on in like a matter of a second. And it's just really weird. So every time you see a random pause, that's why it is. But I don't know if it happens more than like another one time. But it's not that big a deal, I guess. But yeah, this is uh, the airship level in World Eight. And <laughs> as you can see, our teamwork, our teamwork isn't too bad. Now you will see shortly that our teamwork will get worse due to the fact that we have some four-player action. Coming. And Len is back to join us after a little while of being away, but we have the four of us playing for a couple levels, and then thank you, Hewitts, <laughs> that we all just 
accepted that death right there. But um, we all start playing for a little bit, and then we... It's, it's interesting, for sure. I mean, I'm actually recording this on June 5th, so all the other things that you saw was recorded probably three, four days ago, so probably on like June 2nd that we recorded it, but I figured because I couldn't find the audio file and I was panicking, and then I realized that I hadn't done it in the first place, I just figured that this would be a good time to just talk to people directly. Um, and for the lack of comedy, I really don't have any jokes I could tell. I mean, that's a lie. I could definitely make a joke up. Um, let's see. For instance, what do you call three lesbians in a closet? A liquor cabinet. Uh, yeah, believe it or not, I was told that at work. I work with a bunch of old people. Uh, not in a nursing home or anything, but I'm actually a waiter at a restaurant. And I was told this by one of my former waiters, and <laughs> the guy's like 60 years old, and he's making jokes like this all the time. It's pretty funny. But, as you can see so far, we only had to restart this level once. Not too bad. Um, Willie's dead. Willie is back alive. <laughs> um, and... <laughs> we just our teamwork was pretty good here I do have to say when it's definitely this is definitely a game that the less people you have the easier it is um, I have done like a speed run of this game before and I think I may have only lost like a couple lives if that like two lives and it was it was pretty simple to do especially if you have only a few people but sometimes you get into the habit of bouncing off another person's head off and on and it just can sometimes be a mess. Now right here, watch watch what happens when this guy falls down. It like bounces off of Hewitt's foot and then redirects right onto my head and kills me. And then Hewitt just commits suicide. I don't know what he did. And Will's trying to put the team on his back. He was trying. He did well. That's one thing I do have to say. As we progressed, uh, you will see in the later videos, Willie definitely is getting the hang of the game for sure. He was doing a lot of a lot better, I should say. We all did good. I mean, that's the thing. That's what's definitely fun about playing games with your friends. Is <laughs> We'll put it this way. Here's the difference between playing with some friends or your true friends. If you're playing with some friends, you're going to be courteous with them. You're going to be like, oh, okay, that's okay. It's not a problem. But if you're playing with your real friend, you're going to start swearing at them, calling them an asshole, telling them they suck. <laughs> that's what happens when you play with your real friends. Just... <laughs> And that's, that's the line. Like, if you're ever sitting home thinking, like, hmm, how do I know if he's my real friend or not? If you can picture yourself <laughs> calling him names and, you know, like, verbally abusing him in a loving way, you would know. Like, that's, that's a true friend. That's a friend that you've had for a while. And right here, speaking of true friends, this is what you do to your true friends. <laughs> don't take their life. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you... And don't use them for other things. It's just... It's, that was teamwork. That's a good example of teamwork. You know? <laughs> That's probably a horrible example. But you get the point. You get the point. So, um, right here. This is, uh, the airship boss. So little Bowsy sees his little, whatever, cup. I don't even know how to explain what that is called. If you know what that is called, you may leave a comment. But he's in his little... Now he moves into the bigger one. And then this bomb. All you gotta do is you ground pound at the right time. And when you time it... It looks something like that. Do that three times, he's out. It's like the deal with Mario, you always gotta do things three times. Um, <laughs> that's about it. The ice flower is definitely really important here. Not that you need it, but it definitely helps not kill people, unlike what just happened to Eric. But if it falls, yeah, and then you can jump on people's heads and then make them lose their ice flower. That also is uh, something you could do. But it only needs one more hit, so regardless, we should be all set, and we will be. Um, Eric gets taken out by a flame at some point or another, not to spoil it, but you guys could probably have guessed that. <laughs> but, yeah, so I just wanted to definitely make this video just to, the main point was to talk about what's coming up, being the last of us, and then maybe another NFL Street video. And, yeah, I mean, after, I know that's going to be taking definitely a decent amount of time, because... Naughty Dog games are usually a long in campaign, so, but it's going to be a good, it's going to be a great series. 
because especially due to the fact that I am the biggest chicken when it comes to playing scary games so you're gonna be hearing me say phrases and words that technically may not be in any form of dictionary and you may hear me scream and if you hear me scream please don't judge um, I'm not one to like screaming so I don't think anyone likes screaming and if you do that's kind of a sadistic feeling that you have but speaking of uh, screaming the time to scream would probably be if I were to ever walk into a castle that looked like that. Then I would scream. But guys, thank you so much for watching uh, me and my friends attempt to play Mario. <laughs> so hope you didn't mind this little side commentary, but I will see you on the next episode with the full commentary. So thank you. Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I just wanted to let you know that this is going to be an after commentated video um the actual commentary well never existed exactly um yours truly forgot to hit the record button uh i thought i did let's just say i thought i did and we went along and we were you know commentating or whatever it is that we claim we do and you know i apparently the big red record button i just did not press but yeah, this video, I figured I would take some time out and just explain a little bit. Throw in like every three or five videos a campaign, I'll put up like one or two multiplayer videos and just see what you guys like. Depending on what gets liked and what gets commented on, favorited, whatever that whole deal is, I'll probably put more up of at a time. Um, but I am definite about what's going on with the channel. Um, so I know that The Last of Us is coming out on the 14th. I had already pre-ordered it. So, I should be getting it on the 14th. It's coming in through Amazon or something. It's supposed to, because I'm a Prime member, I should get it on the day. But, looking forward to that. And I will be having a full playthrough of the campaign on that, as well as I will be having some playthrough of multiplayer. Now, I think the way I'm going to set that up is I'm going to start with the campaign, and I may. <laughs> 